With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The position time graph of a particle moving along a straight line is shown in the figure. The total distance traveled by it in time t equal to 0 to t equal to 10 seconds is option 1, 0, option 2, 10 meters, option 3, 20 meters and option 4, 80 meters. So we can see that from the graph, from t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 seconds, the particle moves and at the end of 2 seconds, the particle is at x equal to 10 meters then from t equal to 2 to t equal to 8 the particle stays there and from t equal to 8 to t equal to 10 it comes back to x equal to 0 so if we draw a straight line here x is equal to 0 and here we have x equal to 10 meters then what is happening is that in the first two seconds the body moves from x equal to 0 to x equal to 10 meters and from 2 to 8 the body stays here at x equal to 10 and then from 8 to 10 the body then moves back to its initial position x equal to 0. Now since we are asked about the total distance not the displacement because if we were asked about displacement then since the initial and final position are at x equal to 0 displacement would have been 0 but since we are asked about the distance the distance will be equal to 10 meters for traveling from 0 to 2 seconds plus 10 meter distance traveled from t equal to 8 to t equal to 10 seconds Therefore, the total distance traveled is 20 meters and this is given in option 3. Therefore, option 3 is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.